Lizzie Giorgi, her grandmother, and her brother. Gemma was born blind, without pupils in her eyes. In spite of this incurable defect, she is able to see and to distinguish colors. She wears eyeglasses to hide the fact that she still has the eyes of one who was born blind. On the side street in a town in Sicily, Gemma's mother runs a boarding house while her father works in the fields. She helps her mother in the house and in the kitchen without any difficulty. Three months after Emma's birth, I discovered that her eyes had no pupils. In the evening, we went to the doctor with her and her camera would never be able to see. A mother came home to part a female, and that's the one. But in a few months after she was born, she wanted to know what it was and what it was used for. One day I took her to the ocean, and I would touch the breakers, also made her touch a boat, and explain all of these things to her. I was with Jenna, who was five years old, and passed along in a tango to beg Padre Dio to pray to obtain the child's life. During the terrible trip along the Adriatic Sea, I had fallen asleep. Suddenly, I looked at a lot of wicked things I said. Well, mother, I can see nothing when I touch the tango on the beach. After some hesitation, I looked, and there, swung out on the Adriatic, it was the boat. From that moment on, I could see clearly. In my little bundle, it was granted to me to receive my first holy communion from the hand of Father and Peel. As he passed his dignified hand over my eyes, he was making the sign of the cross over each eye. Jenna's eyes have never changed. They're still the eyes of one who is blind. In the comparison, the eyes of Jenna's mother were pupils. Without them, no one can see. Jenna's eyes were out pupils. It's anatomically impossible that these eyes can see. But she was able to see as you and I. Not all of the many visitors to Padre Theo obtained physical cures. But his prayers opened the eyes of many people to a wide variety. The kingdom of God. This hospital, which is steadily being expanded, and already has more than 200 beds, was built on donations made to Padre Pio. The hospital was necessary to not all who came to the Padre were healed of their infirmities. But the fact that gifts thrown in so abundantly is proof that Padre Pio was able to heal spiritual wounds on a far larger scale than bodily disorders. He began to build the hospital in 1949, with a few doctors who had not believed in God before meeting him. The leader of the group was Dr. Sanguinetti, 